now. There we go. All right, then. Yes, NJTE, kick it. Um, it happens every time I get driver updates. Every time. But anyway, normally I um, check it before we get going, but I did not today because I was doing something else. You may find little people turn up today. It's not my fault. They're here. Anyway, we're going to be driving the new Taurus Mountains route from A-N-D. What am I doing Cross City? What did I click that for? I'm not very clever. That's okay. We all know that. Right, Taurus Mountains. It comes with a whole bunch of standard scenarios, and there's also some quick drive. NJT is letting me know he has a throat infection, which is turning into a fever, so may not chat very much or just fall asleep during the stream. Yeah, I know that, mate. That happens. I was like that a while ago. Still getting over mine. It's good fun. You'll really enjoy it, honestly. But anyway, just warning you, there may be some little people turn up during the stream because they're here at the moment. We the, the locomotive on this thing is a bit interesting. The DE24000, it comes in two liveries. The DE24000 and the DE24000 Dark. I have to say I can't really tell the difference, but anyway, that's okay. Let's just jump into this one. It's a, an interesting loco. A lot of the stuff that would normally be done by some kind of automation. Thank you, Nits. A lot of the stuff that would normally be done by some kind of automation isn't. You have to do it yourself. That's okay. Um, it's not particularly rail driver friendly, although the brakes work. So um, the reverse is a bit weird. Why would I say check me out in my Instagram, Northern Illinois Train Spotting, when I don't use it anymore? As you well know. But anyway, we are playing Andalou Model Demi Revelin. Hopefully, I didn't butcher them too badly. This is the beast. Most of their scenarios Welcome start this way. Fourth of the DE twenty four thousand training scenarios. This isn't the one In I picked. In this scenario, we will find out about meanings of CTC signals and colors ah, of lamps. This isn't actually the one I picked. Automatic train stopping ATS system. Hello, my friend. Let's just it's go good back to, to see the you main again. menu, shall Today we? Today we have a short freight train to operate. While taking this train to you, Lukishla Station. Let's we will also it's learn about talking. the usage of ATS system and CTC signals. <laughs> now, before we move the train, let's take a look at the ATS device on the console ahead. Oh, I did. If an Atari this is the one I want. Insert I'm just going to wait for it to stop talking now. currently appearing on the screen of the ATS <laughs> device. <laughs> that means the ATS system is disabled and does not interfere I don't with want the locomotive to depending on the it. signal status. Come on, stop talking. You can now arm the stop ATS talking. system by pressing the U key or turning the stop Kalan IG in Atari user key. When the key is turned on, the device first performs some self-tests and turns oh, well. on if there is no condition. We're going if to start. the real date value and scenario time value are displayed on the screen, then the ATS system has been activated. Isn't it funny how they get these ads in there? You can now? now kick in the ATS system. You love this voice, do you, Nitz? Okay. Well, it stopped talking. And it's funny how that uh, TSC has managed to get in ads for their autumn sale. This is a TS Pro locomotive. And what does TS Pro usually mean? It's hard to drive. And I have to say, it is. Right, so okay. There's our little locomotive. We appear to have a short passenger consist on this one. Let's have a look. Dispatch, welcome to the Taurus Mountain Through. Yay! Oops, I probably should have read that, shouldn't I? There's our train, baggage car, passenger cars. Can you get into the passenger car? She can. Look at that. Oh, she's got her hand up. Hello! Hello, excuse me, hello, my name's Karen. Anyway, let's set some stuff up. We're going to turn this thing on. Come on. Come on. Yay. System fail. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's happy. It's acknowledge button works. What else do we need to do? What isn't turned on yet? I think that's already on. Uh, headlights front. That one's fine, it must be, because the engine's running. And there's instrument lights somewhere, I want them. 
cap light, instrument lights, there we go. Window heater, I don't think we need that. This button's an interesting one. Whatever the locomotive explodes, you just press this button. Start up, we're already running, wipers, all right. Okay, now the reverse is a bit funny because you have, are you gonna go into forwards? No, you're gonna go into S. There's an S position and there's a forwards position. And same if you go backwards, there's a backwards or reverse position and an S position. The S position is for charging up the brakes. It runs the engine a bit faster, but it doesn't produce any amps. So it's a bit like having your dead switch off in an American locomotive. Let's wait for my brakes to release. That's this gauge up here. Is the brakes releasing? You should, in theory, be able to move. Now this bit's definitely not rail driver friendly, so we've got to crank the thing up and then crank it again. My signal's gold green, so I don't need to acknowledge. There's another one. It has trained acknowledgements, like a lot of the uh, other routes we play do. We are passing by Yenis Logistics Facility and Yenis Locomotive Depot, which is a newly built facility it is aimed for managing. point out that the weird artifacts might not be its fault because I am running in the RW and cancer. I think we need some more power. Do you think we need some more power? I've got a control of the voice. It does it when it wants to. More power. Away we go. Look at all the gauges doing things. We have turbo boosts. Lots of turbo boosts. I don't know if two turbo boosts, but we do. We have a YAG, whatever a YAG is. We have oil pressure. It's a national sign of the oil pressure. Uh oh. What happened? It was beeping. Oh, it's not. It's alright. Whatever it was beeping about it, it, it's not. It's fine. It's all good. It is producing power, so that one's, I believe, charging the battery. The other ones the power is producing a little bit like the hand meter in a very close mode. Of course, this one. No, that's the one. This one down there. That's, that's the power it's producing. There we go. JT and Nitz are at it again. Good to see. Still accelerating. Not need to stop it accelerating now. Uh, it's penalising me because I went too fast, didn't I? It's making it stop. A&D. I broke your locomotive. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I know, I broke it. <laughs> Press rearrangement button on the APS device.
Uh oh. I've killed it. <laughs> Lexic Dark is asking, is this one of the days I have all the technical issues come out? Nah, I just broke it. Let's try the button again. I'd like to turn the locomotive off. What if I turn this thing off? I can't quite see the button itself. Now it's doing something. Now it's beeping twice. Yes, I went too fast. I know that. <laughs> Stop beeping at me. Press K again. I'll just hold the switch there. That'll work, won't it? Ah, there we go. So now if I just turn... Turning it back on. Why am I turning it off? I think I turned it off. I think I'll just leave it off. Alright. Let's get on with it. It actually is a fun locomotive to drive, I have to say. There's so much of it's manual. A lot of the things that you would normally have automation doing. There we go. It's going to let me move. Very good. only AI in that point of windows. That looks kind of cool. Interesting shape. But as I said at the start, very good to have you here, AND. Very, very happy to have you here. As I said at the start, I haven't driven this a lot. I did some of the training in the area. There's a uh, petrol station over there. I was hoping to have more time on this during the week, but unfortunately, we have to do something over there. You can open the doors, look at that. That's cool. No, it's turkey, it's going to be hot. Let's open the doors over there. Station stuff coming up, haven't we? Let's pay attention. Yeah, a little bit of brakes. And you say, turn off ATS. Please do not exceed 1200 amperes, especially while taking off. Might catch fire. Otherwise, the Q60 lights will show up and an error happens. Okay. I think they're running. Just crawl our way into the platform now. Have a look at those great cages. That's what they are releasing. It's good. It's nice to have a locomotive that all the gauges do stuff. Quite cool. And these. Very familiar to anybody that works with Australian trains because we run the same ones. Coming into Yenis. A and D is on their mobile. If you see any strange graphics artifacts, just ignore them. It's RW Enhancer. Doesn't seem to like this group very much. Delightful passengers. 
lots of them waiting for us. Wait till it looks like the back of the train's in the platform. And he says it's called Proceed. DCT Mitch asks, when will I stream steam locomotives again? It'll happen. In fact, I've got nothing scheduled after next week, so we could possibly do something with steam after next week. It's me hoping that signal's not red. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. There we go. Absolutely A and D, the little red buggy. We call them trolleys. Americans call them speeders. I drove a little yellow one remarkably like that one yesterday on the uh, railway I work on, doing a track inspection. It is cute, Lexington Park. Yanis Station is located in the town of Yanis, Tarsus. Tarsus is a historic city in south central Turkey. And it has dates. Fantastic. 20 kilometres, 12 miles inland from the Mediterranean. Been to the Mediterranean? Uh, during the Roman Empire, Tarsus was the capital of the province of Cilicia. It was the scene of the first meeting between Mark Antony and Cleopatra in the birthplace of Paul the Apostle. How about that? A bit of history. That's actually why I played this scenario, is because it's um, a good intro to the route. Yanis is an important railway junction. The road coming from the north divides Adana and Mersin directions in Yanis. In 1943, the meeting between President Ismet Inu and Prime Minister Winston Churchill on the island. It's going too fast. The railway line we are now on is part of a historical Hejaz railway. It was part of the Ottoman railway network and the original goal was to extend the line from Hadrapasa Tunnel, Istanbul, beyond Damascus to the holy city of Mecca. However, construction was interrupted due to the outbreak of World War I and reached up to Medina, 400 kilometres short of Mecca. They completed Damascus to Medina and it went away. That's okay. All good. I think we'll just start driving. The purpose of the railway was to... connection between Istanbul, the capital of the Ottoman Empire, and the seat of the Caliphate. There we go. During World War One, the colonialism happened. I'm going to summarise that. You can all read the railway history. Hello, CCT Beach. Yeah, feel free to come out and track patrol, it's good fun. Glad I didn't speed up too much. Although I'm clearly going too fast. Better do something about that, haven't I? new people characters for the route too. That's cool. Local dress. Probably should slow down, shouldn't I? Power all the way on. Just let it roll. Stop like getting priority over the freight. Hello, crazy dad. Feel 
might be handy if they're there a little bit longer A and B, that would be cool. And I can close throttle immediately by pressing tab and D. Is that both buttons at the same time or one after the other? I like all the birds flying around. The mountains clearly don't like RW Enhancer, but that's alright. Hello Metro 109. Welcome. CCT Mitch asks, have I got the Bossman Games Black 5? I don't know, to be honest. I'm not sure if I have that one or not. We're almost down to the right speed now, just in time to speed up. Excellent. How it should be. So we should probably do something about speeding up. Wake this thing up again. But it is a very loud locomotive. More oranges. Go have a look at the oranges. Or are they apricots? No, they're oranges. Pretty sure they're oranges. This area of the world does grow quite a bit of fruit. Looks like we have uh, signalling signage very similar to the Germans, where they have the 3 2 1 signal! Okay, Crazy Dash, that's good. AMD says, please activate EFX in game audio settings. Can you do that when you're playing? Let's have a look. I'm not sure if you can. No, probably not. Don't have that option. I'll have to do it when not playing. Still gradually picking up speed. Not in any great hurry. Locomotive is working, but not hard. Uh, who have we got going on in the chat still? Welcome, Joey. I assume you're Metro 109. AMD says normally the in cab sounds could be muffled. What does it do when it's doing that, AMD? When it starts beeping at you? Standard gauge. It might be loud, because I've got the doors and windows open. Let's close the doors and windows. All right. All right. You know you want to. Maybe you don't want to. All right. Alright, maybe I won't close the doors and windows. I can close that one. How are we going up front? Doing fine. Climbing a gradient now. Come on, close the door. Close the door. No, you don't want to close the door. Alright, you don't want to close the door. Looks like a bit of a curve coming up. But we're not going super fast, so it should be fine. Click the lower parts of the door. Okay. How low do I have to go? Ah, it doesn't want to close. Oops. I should pay attention, shouldn't I? Don't worry about the door. We'll just stay outside. Ooh, fans! Stop that. Stop it. Fans go around. That's cool. 
It's always nice to see a bit of animation. It's certainly a pretty route. I think it's probably uh, 110 kilometres an hour, Crazy Dash. Uh, it's not like an Elko, it's a French locomotive, I believe. Another bird. Let's have another go at this door. This doesn't want to go, does it? Ah, Alright, we'll forget about the door. It's all good. How are we doing in here? It's just powered off completely. I didn't do that. I don't think I did that. There it goes. Powering up again. Yeah, it's kilometres an hour if you look at the, the gauge there. Definitely kilometres. But I'm trying to be nice and behave myself. It's alright. Hitting the Drac. There's a lot of new assets being made for this route. Lots and lots of them. And the cool thing about lots of new assets for this route is it's lots of new assets for people to um, build other regional routes around this area, which will be amazing. This feels like Train Sim World drawing in the grass as you go past it. More oranges? Try the front door. Sure. Yeah, that works. Try the back door again. Wonder. No, it's not the HUD. Eh, it's just stuck. Indies, this area is famous for its uh, citrus trees. I know they definitely produce a lot of apricots. We actually buy apricots that come out of this region. Maybe I should turn the lights on in the train. I clearly haven't. Hello. We open these? No. This is called driving and not paying the slightest bit of attention, you know that. Yeah, it's powered off again, I think. It does seem to have some automation because it just definitely does things. Still trying to get used to it. The thing that bit me before I've turned off is the automatic train stop system.
town or village there. I believe it's quite powerful. It's beeping again and it's shut off again. But it's still producing power. But no more turbo boost. Good shot. Lots of bird noises. Ah, so the engine is field diverting, which means it's it's kind of like changing gears. Ooh. A harvester. That's kind of cool. That's new to this route, I think. And it's an ARS 805. Excellent. Sunflowers. Many, many sunflowers. That needs a screenshot, doesn't it? Train running through the sunflowers. And it field diverts at 49 and 72 k's. Okay, it's good to know. If I read the manual, I'd probably know that, but it, clearly I skimmed it but didn't read it. 2.4 k's to go. A little bit more power. So why am I giving it more power? Because I have to slow down some. me down in time probably and the ARS comes from his son's first name Aris Excellent. good to know I think there's pictures of your son in this game too aren't there Power lines over on the right here. Nearly down to the 40. Just leave it slowing down. Since we're coming up to our station anyway, it's not very far away. Both of them are in it. Fantastic. A bit more. Locomotive, steam locomotive wheel slip can happen on locomotives with little tiny wheels too. I've seen our climax go into a full spin a few times. We're holding our own against the hill on our way into Durac. power off as we come into the station because I think we're going to change tracks. No, we didn't. That surprised me. I kind of expected to go over towards the station building, but clearly not.
Nitz is giving us lots of information with nothing to do with this route. Excellent. That'll do it. Nice. Alright, let's uh, have a little look at this station here. Pretty cool. I think she's making a cake. Welcome to Durak. Durak is a village in the district of Karasali, and we've just heard our guard blow his whistle. So we should probably do something about that, shouldn't we? Let's get moving. Get that powering up. Once I see some amps. Oops. I'm still in forward, that's right. Release some brakes. Why am I not getting power? What have I done to it that I'm not getting power? There we go. Now I'll be able to have power, I think. There we go. Thank you for doing my research for me, Lexic Dark. And A and D says no platform, same as the real station. Oh, that's cool. And all these stations are German built. Yeah, I read that about this railway. I did a little bit of research into the railway, and a lot of it was uh, built by the Germans looking for a different route to move goods. See you later, people. Now leaving to wreck. Oh, A&D says just wait for the brakes to release before you can have power. Fair enough. Quite a lot of locomotives work that way. There you go, Mitch. You wanted your steam engine? It's on the sign right there. Screenshots to promote the route. Why not? Zone. I'm quite liking the sunflowers, it's cool. Why would you apply the independent brake when you're on flat ground, Northern Illinois train spotting? If you're on a slope you might do that. Put some more power into the beast. And again. And again. We're going up quite a steep gradient now, so giving it more power. Let's hold it there. 
Go about there. That seems fairly promising. We're now climbing in speed fairly rapidly. A&D says I should put a lot of power. Okay, let's go with a lot of power. have full power and Nitz says it sounds like an SD40. No I think it sounds a little different to that. To me it sounds like rather a large tractor. It's got a nice note to it. Are the sounds recorded from the real one AMD? We have all the power in the world now. Birds. Sixteen cylinder engine. And I think these are these are nineteen sixties vintage, if I remember rightly, these locomotives, is that right? Somewhere around there. Coming into Calibet. French origin locomotive and recorded using many real engines. It does have a nice note to it. I quite like the locomotive. I think I better get the rest of my power off or we're not going to be stopping here. Hello Brad MacArthur, it sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. It kind of sounds a little bit like a Deltic. It's got that kind of note to it, so it could be a two-stroke. I'm beginning to wonder if we're actually going to make it into Kellebeck, because we're slowing down awfully quickly. We might actually have to power up a little bit. We'll see. a bit early on the power there. Hello, hello, any yet Ogami. Welcome. And it is a four-stroke. Okay. that they move hello sheeps I almost got run over by a car I probably should get the passenger cars into the platform shouldn't I welcome to Kelly Break.
person waiting for us there. And I'm in a tree. Get out of the tree. I guess I'm going to have to walk this crossing so that my passenger cars are actually in the... Uh, oh, it's like a Fiat tractor. So that my passenger cars are actually in the platform. Lexic Dark says a lot of German involvement in the area. Strangely enough, there are probably now more Turks in Germany than Germans. Fair enough. And your father was born in Istanbul. I didn't know that. Kalibak means butterfly. Excellent. I think A&D and Lexic Dark, maybe you guys should ask the quiz questions today. And I'll keep score. How does that sound? There we go, that'll do, that's enough things in the platform. My little notepad, so I can uh, keep the score. While we load our passenger. I'm going to say that really badly if I say it. Demi Yolari. Hmm. Kalibak train station is a train station station in the district of Adana. 46 kilometres from Adana. Sounded by a small village. It is a small village. It actually looks kind of cool. It looks like a nice place to live, to be honest. Right, it is time to go. This time I am going to use the independent brake because we're on a very big slope. I'm going to need a lot of power. Up you go. And power breaks off. It should start making power, I hope. As the brakes come off. Kind of hopeful. There we go. We're making some power. We are making some headway. Let's give it some more beans. Keep it under the thousand, just on the thousand while we're taking off. Lexic Dask appears to have Asked our first quiz question, what do donuts, mountains and bulls have in common? Off we go to full power. Give it the rest. That's it, full power. Getting a train started on a hill is um, a little bit of a black art. I'm fortunate in our railway. I've never had an opportunity to try and start a steam engine on a hill, but I have started our diesels on the hill. And ours will power up with the uh, independent brake on, so the diesel hydraulics so you wait till they've pumped up enough pressure and then you just release the independent brake and off you go it actually makes a hill start relatively easy if it stays in gear and there will be more hills excellent well, we're gradually building up some speed so the, the loco's got plenty of grunt keeping such an old machine
goes from 23 meters, so almost sea level, to 1400 meters at Bulakisla. That's a pretty serious climb. Up to 3.4 percent grade. Yeah, our railway goes from I think about 400. No, the highest point is 312 meters, and we come up from about 100 meters. And our steepest gradient is 3 percent. Tunnel number 36. That's Ulak Ishla. Boa Tunnels. Tunnel 35. It is a pretty steep climb, it's like this. Even though it's only 2% at the moment. We're doing okay speed wise. We're still picking up speed. Uh, we're starting to lose it now even at full power. It's going to be a slow grind in a few places, isn't it? Just under four kilometres to go to our next station. And Nitz popping in some more facts that have nothing to do with Turkey. Look up some facts for Turkey, Nitz. Fans are going full tilt now, so that's... Uh, I'm guessing based on the amount of work you do. That's nice to have that in the animation. But tunnel time. In the hole we go. Anybody got an answer to Lexic Dark's question? What do donuts, mountains and bulls have in common? And he's offering 10 points. Press F7 to activate the train information system to see consist length and weight. There we go. 148 metres at 192 tonnes. So it's not a massively heavy train, nor a massively long one. I have turned the wipers on. Off. All right, let's go off. I did that, that wasn't the train. There we go. That was just me pressing the wrong button. And we've got another 40 zone coming up. So we slow down. No worries for the typo. We all do that. I'm quite infamous for not being able to type things, especially when people are watching me. Another green signal. And the slope's going to drop off too. So I think I might bring my power right off. All the way off. I don't think I'll brake just yet. Let the train come up the rest of the hill first. It's going to deal with slowing down pretty well all by itself, I suspect. There we go. coming. 
zero gradient now, so we should just roll in here, really. Certainly getting up in the elevation. How high is this station, A&D? After this station, the real climbing challenge will begin. Awesome. You can tell we're getting into the mountains. This, this is above snow line territory, I'm guessing. into our station. It's quite a big station really. Ruined house down there. Nearly all in. I want all my passenger cars in the station. I don't care about the others. I'm sure whoever has to unload the baggage car would probably be upset about it not being in the platform, but I just want to look after the humans. There we go. Lovely. Load up. Oh, I'm... Um is it a hole? It could be a ring, Brad MacArthur. Yeah, bull ring. Donuts a ring. Makes sense. Mountains have a ring, though. I suppose they could. It'd be a ring of mountains. Karasali is a district of Adana. The name of the city, which dates back to the Roman period, was Midili at that time, and its population is estimated to be around 60 to 70,000. That's a lot of people. After Karasali, we start climbing the Taurus Mountains. The Taurus Mountains are a mountain complex in southern Turkey, separating the Mediterranean coastal region from the central Anatolian Plateau. The system extends along a curve from Lake Igidur in the west to the upper reaches of the Euphrates and Tigris rivers. The Taurus Mountains are divided into three chains, Western Taurus, Central Taurus, and Southeastern Taurus. The Central Taurus Mountains are roughly defined to include the Northern Mersin Province and the Northwestern Adana Province. The highest point in Central Taurus is Mount Demerkazik, 3,756 metres, which is pretty good. And people like coming here for camping. I can understand that. Nice little ruined house here kind of cool. I suppose we should leave, shouldn't we? Let's start revving up the beast and get the brakes off. And I knocked the rail driver then, which is um, why the revs came off. Oh, it's all right, Andy. It's fine. I'm probably going to end up speeding as I come out of here, but I figured we've got mountains coming. I better get some speed up. So I'm just going to spank it and give it everything. Fortunately, I don't have ATS running, so it won't stop me. I imagine real engineers do this too, because, you know, they're going to want the speed up to get up this hill. It's got a cup holder. Excellent.
tractor heading down the road there. Time for another tunnel. We're stopping at Varda. I have found A&D, I don't know if you've got access to one, but the controls on the locomotive don't like the rail driver terribly much. The brakes are good, the brakes work well with the rail driver, but the reverser is very challenging with the rail driver. You keep ending up in the S mode, and the, uh, the throttle is very difficult with the rail driver as well. We're in Adana region, Lexic Dark, and Varda is a bridge. Okay, so we're going to stop and do some sightseeing. We're, we're clearly getting very high up, and that's pretty obvious, even though I'm stuck in a hill. So we're uh, definitely climbing away. Nice view as we climb the hills. AND says he'll try and solve the reverser and headlight problem for rail driver and Xbox controllers. You can get hold of me via the um, forums on Dovetail Live if you want to, A&D. I do help the um, NZTS people beta testing new stuff. If you'd like me to try new stuff with the rail driver, I'm happy to do that. how many signals there are on a single track line I'm guessing that you must run a lot of trains in the same direction yes there is always discord Yeah, my Discord into here, I guess. Okay, it won't let me get a link today. If anybody else wants to share a link to my Discord, since Discord's not letting me. Hello, David Park. Brad MacArthur gets 10 points with Taurus. You do ask difficult questions for 10 points, Nixic Dark. We are now approaching Hack Hacky Kiri sta train station and the world famous Varda German Bridge. This railway station is a railway station in the village of Kirilan, Adana. The station is the southern entrance to the Kukut Valley Pass. The railway traverses through 12 tunnels. They're seriously high. I'm gonna get high, man. I look all the birds flying around. It adds an extra element. And a and says this area is fully electrified right now, but we wanted to have a route from the 2000s and 2010s before the Caterneri, so before, before the overhead line equipment went in. It would probably look quite different with electrified. You could always do that in a um, 
a future release, A and D, is pop one out that's electrified with the electric trains. It gives you an opportunity for another product. Mind you, I probably expect that you don't cover your costs of building this thing in um, selling the routes. I know most of the, the builders don't. I like the canyons. They're quite nice. Let's see, watch this one from the cab. We are going to have to slow down soon. I don't want to slow down too early. David Park says, crazy how the year is almost over. One more month. And the route looks beautiful. It does actually look really nice. Canyons are really cool. I like this. Really close in. Should have powered off a little before now. <coughs> Excuse me. That is a serious bridge. used in the James Bond movie Skyfall. Awesome. The Varda Viaduct, aka Georgia Viaduct, actually known as the German Viaduct, is a railway viaduct which has been designed and built by Imperial German engineers as part of the Baghdad Railway. The building of the viaduct was coupled with the construction of the Ottoman German project of Istanbul Baghdad Railway Line to connect Berlin with Basra, then part of the Ottoman Empire, to enable direct supply of oil. The most difficult terrain on the route to overcome was a section at the Taurus Mountains between Konya and Adana, more specifically around the region of Beli Medik, where in a distance of 12 kilometres, 12 tunnels in a row had to be dug in 20 years. In 1905, while the construction of the Baghdad Railway is going on, the line had to cross the deep canyon of a creek. Construction began in 1905, and in 1907 the main works were completed. And technical details accomplished in 1912. The railway and the viaduct went into service in 1916, which just, just tells you how long they had to uh, build the rest of it. Eleven arches in total. And the first Ottoman high official pass over the Varda viaduct was Minister of War in Pasha, February 18, 1917. Shortly before the end of World War I, the bridge was used by retreating German troops. The Varda viaduct was featured in the opening chase scene in the Bond film Skyfall. I am pleased that um, no one blew the thing up during either of the wars, because people love doing that. All right, let's get going again, and we've got a station not very far away, so we don't have to try too hard. Brakes off, and let's get some power on. we go, while everybody waits at the level crossing while we sightsee on the bridge. As you do. There's our station just there, I think.
Lexic Dark says a linguistics lesson in Old Aramaic. Torah means mountain. Also in Wales, you see Tor in Gaelic everywhere, which is also Twa. And they wrote a band called Talk. Root of many words in English. Cruise on into our next station. Pakikiri, or Hasikiri maybe. had a little bit of a hard time making that corner. Looks like we're meeting another train here. What is stuck in the front of that bus? Oh, it's not. It's just a gate. Yeah, I think that driver's got some explaining to do. He's taken out the railway gate. Naughty bus driver. For a moment I was thinking we were on the same track as this other train, but we're not, so it's all good. We crawl our way in. And after this station there will be tunnels literally everywhere. Spelling down a bit too much, so I've just popped on a little bit of power. Just enough to keep us cruising. Lexic Dark's full of interesting information. Some nice chemical liquid tankers. Which they stick up above the framework? How do they stack them? Some more people. This cake lady again, making her cake. Maybe she's a potter. I don't mean like Harry. Back in yet? Yep. All right. Brakes on. Lexic Dark says bull was commonly the symbol depiction of Eastern, ancient Near Eastern storm gods. Hence the Taurus, the bull, and hence the name of the mountains. The mountains are a place of many ancient storm god temples. She stopped making her cake or her pottery or whatever it is she's doing and she's headed into the carriage. The guard's pretty enthusiastic on the... Uh Get some amps up. Get that out of quick release. You don't overcharge. Enter tunnel 31. We'll pass through 12 tunnels until Belly Medic Station. These tunnels were dug entirely by human power using pixels, pick and shovel. And the tunnels between... Uh, there are short distances between the tunnels. We will see daylight for very short periods of time after a 15 kilometer journey. So we're going to be in the dark for a little while. So let's make the most of what we can see now. It is a pretty big hill they had to get through, isn't it? We'll get popped back into the cab in a moment.
Looks like it gets steeper in here too. Careful I don't pick up too much speed. It's getting steeper though. But we have to stay in our 40 limit. I'll leave the cab light on so we can see what's going on in here. So it's off. On. I'm going to leave it on just so you guys can see something. A&D suggests the 67642 freight service scenario. Have a look at that. And Lexic Dark says torrential thunderstorms in these mountains were deemed by the ancient Syrians to be the work of the storm god Adad to make the Tigris and Euphrates ripples. Yeah, I can understand why you couldn't put the signs in. It's alright. Hard work's fine. And it's mode switch. To get some more power. Imagine how much diesel smoke must fill up these tunnels. Just running this hard uphill, you're going to be pumping out the juices. There's nothing else to look at, so you can just watch gauges. It'll be okay. The root editor is a strange beast, A&D. There are ways around it. You can place things programmatically, but you have to write code to do it. Impressive. That is some pretty serious scenery as we pop out of the tunnel there. It's uh, very reminiscent of Colorado, to be honest. We continue to climb 11 kilometres to Valley Medic. I'll stop looking out the window. A little light there for your clipboard. I do agree um, with Lexic there, A and B. This is a really cool route with some, and this I think is the first of this kind of really, really tall, deep chasm type of mountain scenery that I've seen. There's been a couple of other places where there's been height changes, but there's not really been anything this um, grandiose attempt to see. Done an awesome job. That's right, you get your timetables and things, don't you? And I'm speeding again, and I've been told off, clearly. Although I don't have the system turned on, so... I'll let it power back up again shortly, if it lets me. Yep, it's going to let me. I let it get a bit too quick when I was getting carried away looking at stuff. It's holding it about there. Oops. quite a few of them. Another 
brief glimpse. Very windy road back there too. Looks like we're in for another brief glimpse up here. Let's just stay in the cab this time and look out the window. Represent real life trains, so that's cool. Give it some more power. Looks like we're coming up on a uh, less steep part anyway. So we still continue through tunnels. Turbo gauges stop working. They have. Well, everything else is happy. A few more little daylight gaps. If I can get into an external view of one of these tiny gaps, let's try. Worthy of a screenshot. There'll be another one up here somewhere. There we go. Where is it? There it is. Around here. There. Get two spots where we'll see it. our train. Yeah, that often happens A and D when um, people go the pick and shovel on tunnels. Occupational health and safety for workers, particularly in war type workers, were never really considered. If you imagine today, if you tried to build a tunnel that way, you would um, not get very far. Three kilometres to the next station. A&D salutes all the brave men who dedicate their life for railways. Indeed. Come back here because it's a cool little ruin. How cool is that? I do like finding little things like that on routes. Two and a half or so kilometres to Belly Medic. And you're right, I am going a bit quick. Because the gradient's flattening out. Might want a bit more. Now, too much. Party on, dude. And the ruins are from a German town. And more over here.
I think, you know what we need to do? This is what we need to do. Worthy of a screenshot, isn't it? Just seemed totally necessary. I wouldn't worry too much about the um, speed limits A&D, to be honest with you, because it's up to us driving this thing to get used to it and know the route. I like the water down there. It's nicely done. Passengers, welcome to Bella Medic. Another little village. Station coming up. It's a nice shady station by the looks of it. In amongst the trees here. The last one going to get into the platform. Not sure. It's going to be close. Two AM in Istanbul. Impressive. Thank you very much for coming into the stream. You've been very helpful. And it's good to learn more about your creation. Which I think is magnificent. And thank you for bringing a new country into the game. That's particularly important. That people get to see that it is possible to bring in a new country. Because it will encourage other people to do it as well. nice to have something different from the UK, Germany and the USA. There's a few others, but adding to that catalogue is really good. The first part of the sightseeing train activity has been completed. You can continue from where we left off in the second part. We shall do that. Why not? Standard edition. Hope you sleep well, a and and part two, there it is, part two. This is a longer one. And the other one you recommended was the, the freight one, which I wrote down. It'd be interesting to see how people receive this because I get a lot more views after the fact than I do on the day. So we'll see what people think. I'm certainly impressed. Welcome to the second activity of the Taurus Mountains route. In this activity you will continue to get information about the lion while taking a special sightseeing train to your, towards Eula Kisla. Let's move on to our next stop, Pasanti. Alright, so... Are we in forwards? We are not. You guys can read that while I get the train going. Calamedic Station was originally opened on the 21st of December 1912. The 
think I confused it with rail driver then. Brakes releasing? Oh, I did have the independent on. When we came back in from the scenario, Alamedic replaced the former name it used to be called Karapina. Turkish word Alamedic form meaning we couldn't guess. Excellent. Sleep well, A&D. Hope you're well. Better pull some power off this thing or we're going to go crazy over the speed limit. Which is so unusual for me. After Bellamedic, we will pass through many tunnels and follow Kakut Stream to reach Posanti. Excellent. And of course I am speeding, but I'm just going to leave it alone. Hopefully it won't stop me, because uh, we're almost in the 110 zone anyway. Still accelerating, we're about to come into a climb. And apparently we should go 80k, so we will. It's my little niece coughing her guts up in the background in there. She's telling me she's not coughing her guts up. Jeez. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but I certainly can. more power going as we start to climb again. We need some more quiz questions, Lexic Dark. I'll have to ask why. Why was this railway important to the Germans at the end of World War I? Lexic Dask has also asked what was the main purpose of the Berlin Baghdad Railway. We've actually had the answers to both questions during the stream. We've got two questions going at the moment. Why was this railway important to the German army at the end of World War I? And Lexic Stark's question, which is, what is the main purpose, or what was the main purpose of the Berlin Baghdad Railway? Uh, another 10 points to Bradley. It's certainly one of them. Would also accept opening up a port. serious countryside, isn't it? This would be an awesome place to visit and go hiking. Pretty hard hike, but awesome. I'd be one of those people that would quite happily just sneak along the railway line. Because the railway lines generally, even when they're hard going, offer the best possible ingredients. Bridge just sticking out of the escarpment there. Nice reflective water. And another tunnel, yay! Might help I put the headlights on, huh? Very good train, you just look after that. Let's bring our 
power down so we say somewhere in the vicinity of the 80 kilometers an hour that was suggested I'm happy to let it creep up a little bit because we've got a steeper section coming No one going to have a crack about who, why it was important at the end of World War One. Cast your mind back to the big bridge with the arches. It was in the text there. Bumping into trees. Another little village. Strong super elevation in some of these corners. Very serious modern road bridge over there. Brakes are a little difficult to get used to, I have to say. I think they're still braking. Very good, Brad MacArthur. Is correct. It was used by retreating German soldiers. She's still there, isn't she? No, oh, no, she's nicked off. I shall have to do some more uh, gaining experience with the brakes on this. And I probably need to watch the brake, watch the gauges, because when I'm when I go into quick release, what I'm used to is the thing will just release and it'll just all go, and then I can pop it into running and it'll sort itself out. But this one clear doesn't work that way. Yeah, turbo gauges are working again. Cool. Let's continue our slow crawl into this station. Passengers will go. What's this driver doing now? Busy semi Euro road route, but judging by the vehicles. Fairly big city, this one. Welcome to Posanti.
powering off as we come in. Big chimney over there. Some sort of factory. What does Pizanti do? What do they make here that they have that big factory? does have that Mediterranean sort of vibe, doesn't it? With the bright earthy tones. Yellows, tans, oranges. And an awful lot of assets created specifically for this fruit, I'm betting. platform. It's not a fairly short one by the look of it. Lexic Dark asks, when was the first complete journey between Istanbul and Baghdad? I think our American friends have gotten bored of this route. I think they've all dropped off. Uh, Matt Peddleston would be happy. Pink containers. So all the people of Pizanti get in and out of the train. Let's go have a cruise. It's one of the things I like about train sim. No invisible walls. You can go look at the towns. What was that factory that was over here? Here it is. No clues as to what it is. Just a big factory. Pizanti is a district of Adana province. The Gulek Strait Road was built on the ruins of the city Pendonsis, where many nations settled and migrated to an important mansion place throughout its history due to its geographical location. You know, I dare say it's got relatively easy access to water, so it would. Ooh. Pizanti was occupied by lots of different people by the looks of it. Actually, let's jump in and watch the brakes this time. So they go to quick release, and they are releasing. If I put it back in running, do they keep releasing? Yeah, they do. Just slower. Alright, power on. Here we go. See all the different freight cars. And a double headed. I hope that's green for me. It's amazing how much noise little people that weigh about 35 kilos can make on the stairs. Now take that. That wants to make more noise, clearly. About to start climbing again by the looks of things. Good use of some of that traditional assets sprinkled around the place and they look like they're in in place which is good
building. Quite the mixture of uh, different community buildings and things. It's cool. Ah, you cannot hear the little people, Lexic Dark. That's good. I shouldn't. T I won't tell them that because I'll just take that as a challenge. It's funny how that my stairs filter that out, or the microphone filters that out, but you can hear things like this, which I would have thought were in about the same frequency range. I sometimes listen back to my videos thinking. I clearly tapped the keys too hard. This is one of AMD's kids. You keep calm and love trains, and I think there's another one here. There you go. Billboards. Pick up some power as we leave Cosenti and climb to Kiftahan. What is the background of Dinner She, Lexic Dark? buildings nestled amongst the modern ones. Santi is famous for its natural spring water from Taurus Mountains. Seco Penari facilities, which we'll see around a 13th tunnel shortly, are one of the points where the natural spring water comes to the surface. Gaelic for little people. Ah. Well, their mum's Scots, so Gaelic's probably appropriate. The frame wrap was having a bit of a struggle, but no, I don't think it is. It's pretty normal for TSC for me, about 30, 30, 35 or so. Taking the train, it's quicker. Continue our big climb.
After Byzantium, we continue our journey towards Giftahan, which is famous for its hot springs. Shelters are right? picnic shelters. or so kilometres out of Kiftahan. The landscape's changed a little as we come through here. Feels more like something like Marias Pass now. I wonder what the tunnel's for on the road. Snow or rock slides? Why is only half the road in it? Maybe it's decorative or something. Oh, this must be his other kid. Yeah, sprung in the Batmobile. More of those tunnels. We're actually seeing all of this for the first time together, by the way, because all of the tutorials are at um, the endpoint station. Head for the developer. A N D. Is uh, certainly a big one. It is massive. We came from down there. We're uh, probably two thirds of the way along it now. the billboard with his munchkin on.
turn the sand back up when I'm out here, I guess. Oh, we had a brief moment at 666 there. The lair of the beast. Here's a loaded question for Lexic Duck. What do you think of the return of the SEC? Won't make sense to anybody else watching this, but Lexic Dark will know what I'm talking about. Will it be like the SEC of old? I'm used to these bridges that just end. It's like, where's the rest of it? Or will it be something that attempts to compete? And are we talking generators? Are we talking power and wires? Are we talking retail? What are we talking? It'll be interesting. I'm curious. Are we talking about taking state control? Or are we just talking about driving them out by making it so unprofitable for them to be here that they couldn't be bothered anymore? Willow trees in that uh, river back there. Uh, powering down so gravity can start winning. I kind of thought that would be your response. over 1k from Kiftahan. For a change, I'm actually doing four years in the project. It's a bit of relief from the 2.6% uh, gradient that we're on at the moment coming up. gravity gradually win here to slow our train down. As the gradient slacks off it will uh, win less and less. Passengers, if you are lighting here at Kiftahan, thank you for riding the Taurus Railway. We hope you didn't get bucked up too much. Park down there. Kids play things.
That's a water tower, that building. Come to Kiftahan. I'll have to show this to my father-in-law because it does remind me of the uh, photos he's shown me of his Greek villages. He might enjoy this. yourself or die. Did just pick a flower? He did. When we arrived in Kiftahan, we're no longer in Adana province. Kiftahan is a village in the Yulakisla district of Nudge province. Head towards Gumas. Alright. Let us rock them. I could see that, Switzerland, but in the Mediterranean vibe, yeah, I could see that. I do get the impression it's probably a little warmer here than Switzerland. Kind of a high desert scenario. Lots of growth where there's water and not much else. Speed down as we snake through these points. Must maintain our passenger comfort after all. It's the Kiftahand Terminal up there. I wonder what that is. Hospital maybe? Why well, full grunt since we're going up a 3% uh, gradient now. Three point four Boa Grunt. Remind me, railway reminds me a little bit of TCAS. Climb, climb, climb or die. You choose. Almost in the hundred and ten, so I'm not too fussed about having sped up a little bit. Big mountain village vibe. It's almost a ski resort. You're right. It does have that sort of look to it, doesn't it? Climbing away here. 2%. Looks like it's going to get steeper though. More tunnels coming up. As we climb towards Gumas. Three percent. Trees are definitely thinning out, so. Higher than the snow line, I'm betting. Half 
After the first complete journey, the Robert Stevenson and Hawthorne Works in Britain built a class of streamlined Pacific steam locomotives to haul the Taurus Express between Baghdad and Telkocek, says Lexic Dark. This route would be uh, pretty hard with steam, I have to say. Especially if it's one of those nice steam locos that's got good physics, like the, uh, the New Zealand one. Hey, hey. say the railway context of Coco has forever been changed for me by a, a musician team called Aaron Tupor and Little Sisora. I do see what uh, A&D means though, this doesn't feel like 110 km an hour territory to me, I'm, I'm quite happy cruising through here at 60. And this locomotive doesn't have dynamic brakes, so um, yeah, taking it down would be fun. You're going to need to learn the air brake, because if you don't, you're going to go pretty quick. Uh, 80 kilometres of down. Lots and lots of down. Uh, Tunnel number two. That implies there's only one tunnel left on this route. And I have to say, it's a good route. Not often a route leads up to expectations, but this one's pretty good. Bridge shot. Sun's on the wrong side, but we won't let that worry us. Just pretend we're not photographers. This must be tunnel number one. Let's have a look what it says on this side of the tunnel. Does it say one? Oh, what have I done to myself? It does say one. There you go. Tunnel number one. Certainly not a moist route. It's only moist around the uh, rivers and creeks. This is tight. Very tight little canyon there. It's the kind of spot that you'd roll through that little tight canyon and go, oh, I hope no rocks have fallen down today, because this would get pretty bad. A little bit lumpy. Eight kilometres to Gumas. This is pretty much... Oh no, it's not at the end. One more after that, I guess. That's how task was, so... Yes, Gumas, then Ula Kinsla. And then one more after that. We are definitely going all the way to the end. Hello 
the British Ace. How are you? Climbing up the hill on Taurus. Whoa, oh, that's a road. Yeah, I'm not surprised that bus disappeared. It's come around that corner and gone, no, that's too hard. <laughs> Dark and I were just discussing how that's uh, a not very moist route with uh, very tight canyons. I am well, thank you. Still slightly getting over my flu from about six weeks ago, but that seems to be the modern way. I think you've had a play of this too. Are you enjoying it? Hello, Neil TB8. How are you? Welcome. I think you guys have both played this route, actually. I'm quite enjoying having another country with all of the, the new assets, all the new looks to things. And this is actually the first time I've taken a train up here, and I'm doing it live. Oops, crossing. No double entendres here, Brad. <laughs> Never happened. It's a lot of bridges. Hello, NJT. You're awake again, Ned. That's good. Grade, yep, that is a good way to describe the grades. Immense, definitely British Ace. I like the little um, animation Easter eggs you get around the place too, like the animated sheep, and there's a guy that picks flowers. Its lods don't like um, RW Enhancer terribly much, I have to say, so I might actually turn it off next time I play this group. RWE is quite badly interpreting the uh, things that need to be drawn. So I've turned the windscreen wipers on again, but enough, enough. Let's bring our speed down a little bit. I had A and D pop into the stream earlier. Gave me some uh, guidance on how to drive this thing properly, which I was very happy to get because I was struggling at the start there. Ooh, I'm feeling very quick. I need to slow this down. It feels too fast on these corners. Definitely want to start slowing it down because we have 40 zone. Andy did say that. Um, the speeds the train should be doing on the route is more like 80 kilometres an hour tops, which is why it feels so fast when you uh, get carried away like I just did. Let's bring this all the way back down to zero and let gravity do its thing. Shortly arriving at Goodness. Get your bits and pieces together, don't leave them on the train because we'll sell them to pirates. Got any more, more quiz questions, Lexic Dark, or have you fallen asleep?
The steepest grade I've encountered on here was a brief one at 3.7, so it's almost 4%. which is about 1 in 37. May actually have to power it up again. I may not crawl into this station. Yeah, I don't think anybody picked up the answer to that one. Just give it a little bit of power as we are slowing down a little too fast. Gravity is winning this challenge just a little too well. Yeah, pretty close to Licky Bank. I was thinking for that, that taking a steam engine up this route would be um, quite challenging. crawl our way into Goomis. It's gradually accelerating again. Have to keep an eye on that because it's going to go flat shortly. Those are some serious trees. They're big. Just standing out like that. Oops. Road crossing. Naughty me. I should come up this end of the train so I can see it. And I love the mixture of vehicles with tractors and army vehicles and buses and all sorts of stuff. It's cool. No, it's definitely possible. Our railway's got um, 2.6 miles of 1 in 30 and 6 miles of 1 in 27. So it's definitely possible. We get our little steam engines up there. It's bloody hard work for the firemen, though. Hi. Trying to maintain water pressure and water levels and that kind of gradient is really, really hard. Another short platform. Passengers now arriving. Goobus. If you're getting off here, don't forget your stuff. Same to get a couple of the passenger cars in since it's such a short platform. Looks to be about good. So just pop down and have a look at Goomis. Bit of graffiti on the inactive water fountain. Oops. A bit quick. Goomis. Or is it Goo Moose? Lots of flowers. Good time to go. Goomis Station is located in Goomis Village of Lukisla District. In Goomis, which is a small settlement, there is a facility where gypsum is extracted. There we go. See this facility on the left. You know, when it says it's the last stop, it's not, because there's two more. But anyway, that's fine. Breaks off. Wait for our brakes to finish releasing. It is a nice little line I work on. It's good fun. out on it yesterday. Wow, RW Enhance really does not like the sleepers on this route. It's our gypsum loading facility. It's basically a really big pile with a bloke in an excavator sitting on top of it. Oh, 
No one else has noticed that people with excavators just seem to love making a pile expressly for the purpose of putting their excavator on top of it. It just seems to be what they do. That's okay. Nice little weed infested siding here. It's almost like proper narrow gauge. Time to start powering up again. Dark says the excavator practice is like goats being on top of stuff. It could be it, you know. It's a king of the castle type thing. When you're running this British Ace, do you run with um, the ATS system turned on? I had it bite me a couple of times, so I turned it off. Because I was being naughty. And it was taking great pleasure in punishing me. I meant to ask A&D when he was on before why it has two turbo boost gauges. They both say the same thing, but I was just curious why it had two. As we climb our way towards Ulukisla. I think A&D told me to turn it off Lexic Dark because he probably want the train to look bad because there was an idiot driving it. <laughs> he kind of needs the train to look good because he needs to make sales. And if there's an idiot driving it, using it inappropriately and making it look harder than it actually is to drive, that defeats his needs. There's lots of those tall trees now. Gradient's going to pick up by the looks of it, so let's get some more juice on. Get into this very straight passing section. Signaling hut. Ulu Kisla, which will be arrived at shortly, is a district of Nigbi province. It's the largest district of Nigbi in terms of area and the second largest district of Nigbi after war in terms of total population. Gold, silver, and lead deposits around Maiden and Gumas villages. Lignite in the Katrandipi region and rich gypsum beds in the Gumi Hills. The region is generally mountainous. Ulu Kisla Station is home to a railway junction where Konya and Ankara lines diverge. In the past years, a railway Y was built in this region. In addition, the locomotive depot and the gypsum loading and unloading facility serving this region are also within the boundaries of the station. Ooh. Yeah, second track. Um, a and D said that this route's actually electrified in real life. It also looks like there was a third track there at some point, or maybe it was all moved over. That also possible. It's time for a little more grunt. Bit of 
a loading facility here for something. Looks like chips and wagons. Covered and uncovered. Let's peer at the train through the grass. Why not? David Park still with us. Very good. So going on with our quiz questions. What did we see at the bottom part of this route that was so yellow? All good, David Park. All good. Hope your dinner was nice. But these are some kind of fruit tree too. Might be almonds. These ones they look kind of like almond trees. I could be just making shit up though. But at the bottom of the route there was something that was very, very yellow. What was it? Also like all the little ruins that you see here and there. It's cool. Lexic Dark says the part between Tokpakali and Nali in Turkey has been electrified for heavy ore transport. It is a constant adjustment kind of engine, you have to keep an eye on it all the time. And it would be quite a difficult route to chain, drive with the HUD off, I think. Because the gradients change so frequently, it would be a little bit of a hard one to learn because it's so long. David is deciding whether to get tram sim or save for more TSW content. I've got tram sim. It's kind of fun to play. It can, um... Uh-oh. Ah, oh, it recovered. I thought it was going to die then. Um, I've played tram sim a bit. It's kind of fun. I don't find myself going back to it an awful lot. But there are TSW routes like that as well that um, I play and think never again. You um, mind, Mr. Bus, you're just a little bit close to my train. I hope that's green. Yeah, it's yellow. All good. No problem. So I suppose it's a hard decision, David, whether to um, get trams or not. I mean, if you like trams, you'll probably like playing it. Um, having the traffic and traffic lights and things like that does add a, an element of interest that you simply don't get in train simulators. It does slow your gameplay down a bit, having those elements. Tramps him in the sail. And if you do get it, um, Tramps him Austria is quite good. 
tramps in Berlin, not so much. Yes, it was the field change, but I was worried about Lexic Dark because it seemed to take a lot longer than it normally does. It's probably worth it at 50% off, I would suggest. If you like trams. I find the, um, I mean you've seen my streams on it I think, but I find the door controls on Tram Sim are just a bit, a bit shit to be honest. The old tram works relatively well, the um, new one not so much. It's clear I don't understand how they're supposed to work, because they just don't do sensible things as far as I'm concerned. crest this hill and come into Ulukisla. The key binds are really weird and if you change them they don't work at all. Some keybinds you can change, they, you can change them all in the UI, but some of them the changes actually take effect and other ones they just don't. It's crazy. This is the only station I've seen before on this route because this is where all the training happens. Coming into here. If you do get it, get Trams in Austria, not Trams in Berlin. Trams in Berlin is a bit... I refunded it, put it that way. Trams in Austria, at least I play. The other thing I play, but I don't stream it very much because I don't think it'll be all that interesting for other people, is um, Rolling Line. Not Rolling Line. Sorry. I am playing Rolling Line as well starting to build a series out of that, slowly. That's the model train layout one. Um, what am I thinking of? I've forgotten, clearly. The one with the weekly challenges and you're basically a dispatcher. The current weekly challenge, the corridor, it annoys me because it takes nearly eight hours to play it. And the slightest mistake and you lose everything you've done. And you can't save. Yeah, Vienna or Munich. Don't get Munich. Yeah, I thought it was Berlin, but clearly Munich. Maybe that's why I thought it was crap, because it wasn't Berlin. Kisla, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. If you're getting off my train here, get off. I have D-Rail Valley, never really got into it because the, the, um, the lack of realism about the trains, I mean it's slightly realistic and very not realistic and it puts me off a bit, so I don't like it so much. I haven't tried D-Rail Valley 2, I take it it's on special at the moment. Just D-Rail Valley 1 that's on sale, or is it D-Rail Valley 2 as well? After Ulu Kisla, let's go a little further to see the end point of the line and the railway Y. Ah, Alright then. Sound like a good little dance to herself. Now it looks kind of like Cowboy, so watch this. If she gets to the end of the sequence. 
She's going to unholster her gun, cock it, shoots, puts it back, blows the smoke off. I'm clearly imagining things. All right, let's go off to the end of the line then. This is the first other train that we've seen moving. Now, I haven't tried railways online. I probably should. I should have a look at the, um, the sails because channels making a little bit of money out of YouTube so I can uh, afford to buy a little bit of software. My objective with this channel is not so much to make money but to cover my costs of software. It's just for disclosure. While I can have pretty much anything I want from TSW or TSC for nothing, as long as I've got a project to use it on, um, you know, the other stuff buy it all. Uh, David says there's only one version of Derail Valley is Derail Valley Overhaul which is getting an upgrade to the simulation aspect. I thought there was a second one. Clearly I am incorrect. Oh, I'm being naughty again. I want to derail the train in the curves. So 20 pounds 48, so that's probably about 40, 45 dollars. Train Valley. What was Derail Valley? I'm sure Derail Valley's got another version. Or maybe it is Derail Valley overhauled. Maybe it's just not out yet. mate. No? Anything else going on? Oh look, a spammer! I haven't had one of these for months. Uh, put user in timeout. Bye-bye. And remove. Derail Valley overhauled is an early exit. So it does have another version. I thought it did. I haven't had a spammer get through YouTube spam protection for ages. If you go on the left side of the railway Y, you go into the direction of Konya. If you go on the right, you go in the direction of Ankara, the capital of Turkey. Our last stop will be the last point of the line in the direction of Ankara. If you're ready to discover this beautiful route yourself, Hope to see you in challenging and enjoyable activities. Oh, I think so. I can see myself trying to take a freight train down this hill. Oh, I think that would be a whole combination of absolutely awful and fun at the same time. No, oh, fair enough, David Park. flat little plateau we're on up here. But 
grain storage over here, maybe. That's kind of what these things look like. Like they're meant to have a railway line going underneath them, under here. For loading and unloading, perhaps. Future product. Have I played trains? I am a train spader tester, so yes. I don't stream trains very much, though, do I? But yeah, I certainly have. I tend to play their Australian content. I tend not to play much of any of their other content at all. Trains... It's a lot like a model train in trains, so it doesn't have the driving enjoyment that the others do. But it is about the only thing with any Australian content in it at all, so I play it for that. One of the lines that they um, reopened in game has actually reopened for real now. The Orbost line is back. For a long time it only ran out to Bensdale and Sale. But I believe it's all the way again. Three kilometres to Kayseri Yomu. At least it's not Kayseri Yoni, we'd be back to the uh, moist thing again. They look a little strange, those uh, power pylons. But that's okay. Christmas tree. Uh, farm there maybe probably not in Turkey not well known for Christians although I'm sure that there are some because the Orthodox Church was here and the Catholics were around here since it was held by uh, Romans such a long time ago so we're into the Y now you can certainly see the Y shape as it heads off around to the left there and across the back and up there David Park, thoughts on trains? Yeah. There is Tain and TRS 2019. Um, I'd be going for trains 2022 if I were you, because they did change the engine a little bit, and its graphics is a little bit better between 19 and 2022. Um, its scenario building engine, I never really succeed in getting it to do anything really good. I mean, I've certainly built some. It's, um, it doesn't crash like TSC does when you try to build scenarios, so that's a good thing. But it, it's not capable of really complex stuff. If you know their scripting language, then you can do a lot more with it. But if you're the point and click type person, then you'll struggle with it a bit. Bit more brakes rail driver. Come on, there we go. No, trains is actively in development. I've just brought out a new version of it. They've just released some new content. They've just released the Blue Comet steam engine, which has been in the works for about three years, I think. People think dovetail take a long time, but you know. By comparison, not really. The subscription model's not as bad as it sounds, I guess. Um, one thing I don't like about trains is you kind of do have to subscribe uh, because you need to get what's called a first class ticket on the download station because if you don't have that, downloading a route can take days. If you've got a first class ticket, you'll have it in your hands in 10 minutes. I don't like the way they do that. And I have to confess, I haven't looked at its route reviews lately, but I, I've, I've had it right since it started. And I have upgraded each one of them. 
I don't mind the 2022 one. I, I don't have any significant issues with it beyond that it's trains. Big plug for A&D here, naturally enough. And I probably better think about putting some brakes on or we're going to go through the end of this thing. So that took us, what, that took us two hours to get up here. That's actually a pretty long route. That's where the track workers are going. Oi, 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 stop. We are, I think, fortunately, actually going to stop. I suppose I've been used to subscription model software because I do a lot of stuff with cloud computing for work and I'm used to paying for it. And I'm also used to it with my photography software, which is all subscription. So... It's like they're planning on taking the line further at some point. I suggested to A&D that he should build the electrified version of this as a, a second release, because it would be cool. You have successfully completed this activity. Cool. Now, well, let's just have a quick look at what you actually get with Taurus Mountains. So you get what, quite a lot of scenarios, actually. What's that? Nearly 20, by the looks of it. So it's plenty to do. The um, D24000 is certainly a different locomotive to drive. It's um, quite interesting. The ATS system, which you, you saw bite me at the start of the stream if you were around, is... Well, I've done it through the training, and I did okay with the training, but then I went a bit too fast and it bit me. So, yes, it took a little while to recover from that. Fortunately, A&D was around to tell me how to recover from that, because I couldn't remember but then I turned it off but it does add add an element of interest to the train um, and yeah I think next thing I'll do is take a train down the hill and see what happens because no dynamic brakes it's going to get exciting I suspect anyway thanks heaps for watching folks um, I do have a discord if you want to join subscribing is cool if you'd like to subscribe always appreciate more subscribers uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it if you've got Taurus or if you've got any questions, give me a yell in the comments and let me know what you think if you've got it. And if you've got questions, just ask away and I'll see if I can answer them for you. And next week, we are back to Austria, I think, for a new RSSLO route. Or is it a new vehicle and an old route? I can't remember. No, it's a new route. It's a new route. So we'll be into that one. So thanks very much for watching, folks. Hope you had a really good, good time with that. And... Thanks to the people who dropped in towards the end there. Have a great day or evening or whatever it is where you are and enjoy yourselves. And Brad MacArthur, definitely the winner on the quiz front today. I will publish the leaderboard later today. Uh, Stepan says, what is the Discord? Let me try and get you a link. I actually failed at that earlier. So let me just try. There is a community post on my channel, actually. Let me get it off that. That's going to be the easiest way to do it. Let me just go in and grab that for you. No, you can't see what I'm doing. I could always just bring that over here, though, couldn't I? Then you better see what I'm doing. Somewhere down here, there's a link to it. There it is. I'll just copy the link and paste it in here. Ooh, that's a YouTube redirect. Well, that'll work, though. Whatever. It won't let me face that it. it's too long. God. <sighs> let me try and copy the text and see if that works. No. Come on. Don't highlight everything. Don't be painful, YouTube. There we go. Oh, yeah, sunflowers. Who got the sunflowers question right? But anyway, here's the current leaderboard. Let's have a look. This is the most recent one. NJTE on top with 280. Dave Randall 200. Brad MacArthur 130. So you will climb up to 160. Unless it was unless you got the sunflowers right. In which case you'll climb up to 170. Antcraft 120. Nits on 110. Haven't seen you move for a while. 
Michael Newbury's been a bit stale. Richie Peach picked up, I think he picked that up last week, and David Parker, you climbed up last week, and Bernard the Wonder Badger last week as well. All righty. I will scroll back through the text and see who got the sunflowers right and do some points for that. And I think I'll chuck 10 points at Lexic Dark simply for helping out with the quiz today. All right. Thank you very much, folks. Enjoy yourselves and see you around. Bye now. Peace out. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.